Hey guys and welcome back to a, another video and it's 2019 though I did upload a video already so this isn't really the first of 2019 but it's the first of filming in 2019 anyway. So this is probably going up a little bit late and people may not want to see these videos anymore because Christmas is over and it's the new year and everyone's into January and like trying to eat healthy and get rid of all that Christmas chocolate but I thought I'd upload it anyway because I usually do these when it's kind of like January and things go in sale so if you like anything then you can buy things a bit cheaper so it's a bit like kind of doing a haul and then you can go and get them like at half price or something like that but it's basically going to be a what I got for Christmas video I have already done a video which was all of my Harry Potter things I got and this is just like the random bits you kind of get from people which you just kind of like but it's not like themed of anything like my Harry Potter things although these don't have a theme there is a few items here which are kind of like matching kind of themed together so we'll start with the panda themed items so I got this for my mum it is a panda cushion and it's so cute and soft and it actually is a blanket inside so here you can actually get I think it's just a black blanket what you can take out and it also does have these things yeah so it's like a hand warmer so you can kind of like cuddle it and stuff I think my mum might pick this up from like a vintage store or just like a random shop it says mum mountain warehouse on it so I'm not too sure where that is but it's so cute because she knows I love pandas and it's got really nice little hair at the top and it also can hang up so you can get this for like either you or it's great for like kids or anything to have in their room and if it gets a bit chilly now that winter's kind of like here and it's January and February like the coldest months you can get snuggly with a little blanket so to go with that I have another panda kind of plushy this is a TY toy and it is Shishi and this is the new ones like the new style of TY toys because they have these really like anime eyes. It looks a little bit like if a Powerpuff girl had a panda in their little group. That's what it reminds me of. So this is really sweet because she knows I like kind of anime -y type things and I love pandas so I can display this in my room put it on my bed. And then the last panda item she got me is this 2019 diary and it is really sweet. It has little pandas all over it with flowers and inside it's just like your normal kind of diary of day to day because I do write down a lot of things about like hours of what I work and what I need to do and I can like look back and check on it so this is really sweet and also very handy. My mum also got me some loose leaf tea I've never actually had any at home at work I've had loose leaf tea because they kind of sell teas and coffees but this is from Waitrose and it is gunpowder green and mint loose leaf tea in pyramid bags so this one you don't actually need like a diffuser thing because I think they're bagged up in like little tea bags but but just for when I do start getting like loose leaf teas and everything she got me one of these which I've not got yet so this is a little like diffuser thing so you can put loose leaf teas in here and then you can close it and put it into your drink and stir it around it looks a bit like a spoon and I said to her I really want to get one and start drinking like loose leaf teas because there's some nice flavors but I didn't have like a little diffuser thing to have them so this is really handy to have my teas in she also got me this sass and bell kawaii cat mug which is adorable I'll get it out the box so you can see it properly so this is what it looks like it's very cute it has little cat ears it's a grey with a cute cat and it's got a little handle as well so it's quite a big mug as well I do like having a lot of tea or even coffee now so I'm very excited to have this I've never owned anything sass and bell before and their stuff is very cute I also got a teacup and saucer set it has the price on and it is from HomeSense so if you do want to get this look in HomeSense they do some really nice stuff there like really funky homeware stuff and this is a little teacup and saucer set with well it has the design on the teacups on the box it's designed by the Abbeydale collection in England and it's very cute designed in Stoke and Trent apparently and it's like a china teacup and saucer and he said that when I move out I can have some nice like homeware bits and it's very pretty it looks very kind of I'm not sure what the style is but that kind of 
like old 20s kind of like wallpaper style and it's very nice to have your tea out of because you'll look a little bit more fancier. My dad also got me this reed and diffuser set and it's in this really pretty box. It's grey and willow home set of three luxury mini diffusers. I'm not too sure where he got this from or if it was from HomeSense. So in it it has the little sticks you can dip in and then like turn out so it smells and it has these really pretty glass holders. So there's a grey one, a bit of a purpley one and a clear one and they've got like bubbles designed in it and they're glass and they're very weighty as well. So you just pour the stuff inside and then put the sticks in. So it's nice it's ones what you can actually keep. I do have some in my room where they're like cheap ones. They do smell good but they're like cheap ones. You can't really like reuse the pots very well. But in here it has the little scents. So you can just pour these in. And the scents are wild fern, sea salt and leather. So very sophisticated scents but it's a really beautiful gift. I think this will be great for like birthdays and things as well not just like Christmas. My brother also got me a re-diffuser set because they know I love smelly things and putting things in my room so it kind of smells nice. This is a alcohol fragrance gift set. It's a set of four fragrance diffusers. There is gin and tonic, mulled wine, prosecco and strawberry bellini. So they have cute little bottles. I think you just put the sticks in what's in the box and then they have different glasses on it for what drinks they are. I just thought that was really sweet and really different. I've never seen anything like that before and I'm excited to kind of like make my room smell really good. My brother also got me some Jelly Bean Factory 36 Gourmet Flavours. These are actually gluten free, gelatin free and nut free as well and they have very different flavours so they're not like the Harry Potter ones where they taste a bit funny. They're all nice ones so you don't have to be like worried if you want just like a nice snack but they have flavours like lemon and lime, blueberry pie, cranberry and apple, granny smith apple, banana split, marshmallow, candy floss, mango, so many flavours, well 36 flavours. So I'm very excited to dig into these and see if they actually taste like what they say they are. So thank you for my little treat. And another one from my brother is this Krispy Kreme Donuts mug. So I got the little mug and then it has some chocolate donuts at the top as well. And I love Krispy Kremes. I don't really buy them a lot because they are kind of expensive and I shouldn't really be eating donuts that much. So I'm quite happy that I have like a Krispy Kreme Donuts mug. I can have like hot chocolates in and I can pretend it's a donut and maybe dip one of these chocolate donuts in. So that would be so tasty. I got another treat food item from my dad. He actually got me two of these little boxes and they are gummy sushi. I remember my mum did actually buy me one before. It's got the price on so you can get it for $2.99 from B&M and I don't think they're like Christmassy range so you'll probably be able to pick it up still. So it says decorated strawberry flavour gummies. So that's alright because it's not actually um, sushi flavoured gummies. I think that would be a bit weird. It says use the chopsticks to pick up a yummy sushi gummy. So it has little ones where it's like all different like California rolls and I think that's like some pickled ginger or something in the middle. So it's quite fun. If you know people what like sushi and they love Japan and stuff like that then it's quite a fun little gift. So I was very happy to get these. I got this beautiful Ted Baker makeup set from Nick's sister. I didn't realise she was going to get me a present like her and her partner got me a present and I was just like oh my god for presents whoops. It's really hard to know who's going to get you presents at Christmas or who you need to like buy things for. It can get quite expensive. You can get these in boots. I think these will be on sale now if they're not all sold out because I know people go crazy on Boxing Day and just like buy everything from boots because they do have everything like half price. I do actually love Ted Baker because TB is actually my initials so everything what has it on it looks like it's uh, my name and not Ted Baker's but inside this beautiful box which you can actually keep and store things in because it is very pretty. You just have to take this bit out. It has this makeup set if you can see it. So it has like brushes all in rose gold, it has an eyeshadow palette, nail varnishes, lipstick, eyebrow pencil, eyelash curler, mascara, bronzer, everything you could ever dream of. So this is great if you're maybe younger and you're just starting off with makeup, you could use this. Or if you just love makeup and love the Ted Baker brand. So it's super happy because it is such beautiful packaging. So Nick's mum actually got me some Liz L stuff earlier in the year because I was having a lot of allergies and problems with my skin. And she said that her daughter had really bad skin before she started using this and it really like helped her with allergic reactions and things. So she stocked me up with some more Liz Earle products, which is crazy because I'd never buy them for myself because I like saving money 
and I don't ever buy like luxury products. So inside she gave me another one of these moisturizers. It is the Liz O Skin Repair Moisturizer for dry and sensitive skin. It smells incredible. It's only a little pot so you only need to use a little bit and it really does help your skin. It saved my skin a lot when I was having really bad allergic reactions so I was so happy that I can have some more because I was like I don't want to use it all because when I run out I probably won't buy anymore. And it also came with this pretty bag which has the cleanse and polish hot cloth cleanser in it and it has the little towels what you can wash it off. I have one of these already. I haven't used a lot of it yet. I've been trying to use all my old products before I start on my new things so I can start fresh in the new year. But this smells equally as amazing and it's very good for taking your makeup off. She also got me a Harry Potter Primark voucher as well so I'm very excited to buy any new kind of like Harry Pottery stuff on Primark in the new year. I don't have to be too guilty about spending money because I got it kind of like gifted to me. So I'm very grateful. Thank you so much to Nick's mum for buying me a present. I don't really expect anyone to really buy me a present, let alone like people aren't actually like my family, what I like mum and dad and stuff. So I'm so grateful. So a present I got from Nick are these Hello Kitty vans. And I was so happy when I picked this up. It's funny because I actually bought him some Converse's and they come in the same shape box. So we both picked them up and were like, ah, <laughs> we got each other shoes then. So I was so happy. I really wanted these. Um, they're like a collaboration with Hello Kitty and Vans and they also did a Converse's as well collaboration and I was looking and these ones came out and then they went in the sale for about £52 or something and I was going to get them and then I was like no I don't need any shoes. I need to be good for money not spend it and I was um and ahhing and they literally sold out. They sold out when I was like mm, I have a bit of money now I might buy them. There was nothing left and I was so happy that he got me these. The box is adorable. It's got Hello Kitty all over them and Converse. Oh, they're the Converse ones, not Vans. What am I on about? They're done them with Vans and Converse's, but these are the Converse ones. It's because the style is more like Vans than the normal Converse's. So this is what they look like. They're just black. I liked them because they're not too obvious Hello Kitty. Getting older, I kind of want to get things that are more like subtle and not too like in your face. So they're nice and black and comfy and they come with some other laces what are pink with Hello Kitty on. They have the star with a little bow and then on the back they have Hello Kitty peeping over the little Converse bit on the back. So cute and inside it's got Hello Kitty Converse collab in it and does it have anything on the front? And then it also has a little Hello Kitty kind of like outline with the bow on the little tongue bit of the shoe. So I'm so happy I got these and I can't wait to wear them. I'm gonna take some pictures of them and put them on my Instagram if you want to take a closer look of what they look like but they're adorable so I'm so grateful that Nick actually got me them as they sold out and I couldn't get them myself. So the last little bits I'll show you are some candles. My dad got me quite a few candles because he knows that I love them. I have like a witchy room where there's just candles and reed diffusers everywhere. I, you can see one in the background now. So he got me this one which is frankincense and myrrh. It is from Starlights. I don't actually know this brand but it looks a lot like Yankee Candles and it is an American brand so it smells really good. It smells actually quite vanilla-y so I'm very excited to use this one and to go with it he got me a, another Starlights candle and it is a mauled wine. So this one smells really festive. It does smell kind of like wine, basically mauled wine. So I can't wait to use these in the new year even though that they're kind of like Christmassy scents. They're not overly Christmassy so I don't really mind burning them in January. And then the last candle he got me it's kind of like ripped a bit there but it is a winterberry's botanical candle and i think this is from house of fraser so it's probably on sale now if you can pick it up and it's got a really nice bow on it and inside it has all kind of like holly and stuff um i don't know if i'm gonna burn this one because it's so pretty it does smell good though very like fresh smelling i'm very excited to have this in my room and decorate it i might just put it away and take it out at christmas and have it as like a christmas decoration and apart from the gifts i've shown you i've got some random things like chocolate what you get from people and I got like a H&M voucher from my mum and I think my brother got me some like unicorn candy floss and stuff like that. I was very lucky this year I got some really nice things and I'm very grateful for everything that people have given me and I really hope they like their presents too because I try and get people some quite nice thoughtful presents and listen to like what they want to have so I hope they really like their presents I've given them. But overall Christmas was a really nice time. I loved spending it with the people I love. Chilling out. It's nice to just chill out watch TV, eat that chocolate people
people bought you and light some nice candles and have the, your new pyjamas. It's like the best feeling in the world. I hope everyone else had a really nice Christmas, even if you were just like on your own or if you were with family or anything like that. Hopefully you had a really nice time around the winter holidays. Happy New Year! Let's hope this year is amazing. I'm really excited for 2019 and I'm really excited to kind of like upload some more content. Hopefully I'll be able to upload a bit more regularly. I did quite well in 2018 so I'm hoping to keep it up. I know that I won't be working at weekends currently so it does give me a bit of time to actually like film and edit things. It is also my birthday in February. I will be 25 and I just remembered I did a video which was the kind of review video. I set myself some goals at 23 and two years later when I was 25 I have to actually kind of review the goals and if I did any of them. So I'm very excited to make that video and see if I actually achieved anything that I set out to. So thank you for watching. I'll link all my social media and everything down below in case you want to see any close-ups of these things and I'll try and find some stuff in the sales for you and link them if I can and I hope you have a great day. So see you again next time.